Hey guys, how you going? Mike here, Prado 150 out of here. Just a short video here, just down at Murphy's Creek uh, Escape, it's called. It's a camping and caravan place. Uh, camping and caravanning, they've got cabins as well and hot showers if you want. So it's just out the back of uh, Murphy's Creek, not far from Toowoomba, not far from Highfields, a bit longer from Brisbane, but uh, anyway, I'm here during the week, so it's very quiet. There's not too many people around. So uh, yeah, just a bit of a relaxing uh, a night away. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you guys another camping place that you might not be aware of. And uh, right now, I think I'm gonna go grab myself a coffee. Probably almost due for a beer, but I uh, won't crack one open just yet. Well guys, most important thing here is, is that these beers are cold from that right fridge, so she's working a treat. So I'm going to go find myself a swimming hole and uh, show you guys around. Very nice uh, camping place this one. Well guys, look at this, eh? This is like a bit of an oasis here. So Murphy's Creek, escape, just down at the um, swing hole. So, uh, yep, I'm gonna go and jump in, eh? What do you reckon? Go and see what this is all about. So, uh, yeah, I'll go and check it out and let you know how cold it is. <laughs> Can't be too bad. It's quite deep here actually. It's beautiful. Don't know what's on the bottom, but uh, yeah. Oh, I can stand here now. Oh, this is alright. This is a life, isn't it? Beautiful. Ah, well, there you go guys. Um, I'm just going to go back up to my camp and uh, grab myself a beer. But uh, beautiful and refreshing. Great swim. Uh, nice water and uh, yeah, it's so good to see water here. Maybe peppers, I don't know if you've had these before, but these are nice.
Guys, that backdrop, perfect. Doesn't get better than this, I tell you. Fire, Great Northern, backdrop. Morning guys, got my coffee, bit of a later start this morning, decided to, to sleep in, but uh, why not eh, sometimes that's what camping's about, relaxing, just going to show you this beautiful view that I've woken up to. Hey guys, how you going? Well, morning of the second day, beautiful place here to camp, uh, definitely uh, worth coming up here having a look, very relaxing, bring the family, very family orientated as well, uh, the grass is beautiful and green, never seen it so green actually, water in the creek behind me, um, so yeah definitely well worth coming up, I'm going to show you around in a second just the different sites and accommodation if anyone's interested in, in coming up. So uh, plenty of um, sinks to do your washing, heaps of tables, um, fridges, freezer, microwave, barbecue, so uh, yeah, don't know about that seat there but certainly the rest of them, plenty of seating available so if you brought your family or a big crowd of people, you could come up here and uh, have a few hours and have a good barbecue. So guys, I've got Alberta, is that right? That's right, yep. From uh, Murphy's Murphy's Creek Escape. Yes. Have, have I said it right? You have, yep, Murphy's Creek so Escape. So she's just going to tell us all about this place. Okay, great. So we're a bush camping um, campground. So we have powered sites, unpowered sites. We have some remote sites if you're really good in a four-wheel drive. They're a bit fun to get to. Um, we have luxury glamping. Um, we have large sites that we call spoke sites which are for large groups of people. If you come in camp with your friends um, or your family and you want your own space together, we have these spoke sites which are really cool. We're dog friendly, pet friendly, and um, we love all the dogs that come through. We've had a goat recently which was pretty cool. Um, yeah. We can have horses as well and cats, birds, whatever you want to bring, guinea pigs. Yeah, so um, that's us in a nutshell really. The bush camping site, um, so we are not a big four, I always say that, we're not a big four, but um, we provide a totally different experience, you can have campfires and we've got a creek that um, is seasonal but at the moment it's full of water, we've had a lovely season with the creek this year, um, yeah. 
So tell us about that. Yeah, so the Eco Pool is a fairly new feature. Um, we were looking at getting a pool, obviously, because the creek's seasonal, so it gets really hot here sometimes when everything can cool off. So we started looking at getting a pool, and then I was reading about the Eco Pools, which are just amazing. Um, so they're all naturally filtered. We don't use any chemicals at all in the water, so they um, provide a swimming source for us, but also a lovely fresh water source for the animals. So we sometimes get large goannas get stuck in the fence because they can get oh, wow. in and then they can't get out. Um, they breed frogs, we've got frogs breeding in here and part of the eco pool system is we have um, fish that help us clean all the algae off the rocks so it looks like a natural pool that you might see in the environment in a rainforest maybe with a um, waterfall it's got a big, the top area where you're not allowed to go is all the natural filtration area um, and it's a bit of a sanctuary for the frogs and stuff so yeah, no chemicals, it feels beautiful to swim in, it's always cold, even on the hottest, hottest days. Um, the fish are pretty cool, the kids love the fish. Uh, the squeals of delight when they see the big fish is something <laughs> I uh, love hearing from my office, which is just up from the pool. So these are the amenities? Yeah, so we've got two amenities blocks, so fairly simple, fairly basic, being a bush camping ground. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, a couple of showers for the ladies down here and the men and some toilets and a laundry in the ladies' side. Yep. Our showers do cost 20 cents for two minutes of hot water. Mm. Yeah, so the idea of obviously the 20 cent pieces is to keep people moving when we're really, really busy. Um, we want to keep people moving through those showers so people aren't waiting for too long. So, yep. so we've got um, some adventure activities we do here at Murphy's Creek Escape. So. Up there is our archery field. We run our activities during school holidays mostly and every Saturday during the year you can come and have a go at archery or we've got a giant swing. Swings out off this cliff over here. Oh, um, nice. And we have a medium ropes course. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we try and keep the kids active. Yeah. We've got a BMX, um, not a BMX, a mountain bike track as well that yeah. runs across the side of the ridge, um, which I'm told is a good mountain bike track. I don't mountain bike, but. You know, people have said it's a good one, so yeah. Oh, there you go. Plenty for the kids to do around here. For yeah, sure. no, that's great. Yeah, this is a very new addition. Came in last weekend. Yeah, oh, nice. The cubby house over there. Yep. A simple cubby. Got another element to go in this next week into our playground, and then. Yeah, nice. Get the softball sorted and a bit of fence across here so kids can't run on the road and we're all done. Yeah, wow. Well, all right. Um, so this is our uh, bush camping, um, so the unpowered section amenity block. So it was donated to the park after the 2011 floods that ripped through Murphy's Creek um, from a mining company out in Western Australia, transported right across the country. Um, so it certainly needs some renovation. Uh, it's on our list of things to do. Um, but for now it has a full separate laundry um, and then there's a family room or a disabled bathroom that's large and then another four toilets and showers all in separate rooms. So, yeah. And don't forget your 20 cents. Yeah, don't forget your 20 cents, <laughs> you still need those up here. You can have a cold shower up here for nothing. Yep, yep. Yeah, so there's plenty of different spaces to camp in. So these are our unpowered bushland sections. Um, nicely grassed at the moment, thanks to the last summer season. Um, around the back, there you see a car and a caravan up there in the background. That's our biggest um, powered family site or group site. Again, we call them spoke sites and we've got seven of those that wrap right around the back of the property. Um, and they can fit between four families and up to nine families on um, different ones. Wow. Yeah, so there's plenty of options. They're really cool if you want to come with, um, you know, your family or friends. You've got your own space. You camp in like a ring around the outside, and in the centre there's a centre fire pit, and you can set up communal space in the middle. So, um, if you want a quiet time here, come midweek. Definitely midweek. We're definitely a weekend destination. Um, we've been doing a lot of promoting, so the numbers are starting to pick up on the weekends and on the school holidays. Long weekends, we are always fully booked, so if you're looking for something peaceful and quiet, the long weekends are not the time to come. Um, but during the week, um, you know, some days we have two or three people in the entire campground, and sometimes you'll have the whole place to yourself. So mm -hmm. during the week, definitely if you want something quiet, uh, weekends are always fun for the kids because we've got all those activities and stuff for them to do. Yep. Um, and long weekends, if you're 
want to be amongst the crowd, that's the time to come <laughs> too. <Yeah. laughs> so um, just a rough, roughly, what, what are your different prices? Um, so the bushland prices start at $12 per adult per night. So all of our pricing is per adult. Um, obviously I wanted to make it affordable for single parents um, to be able to come. So it's per adult, not per site. I'm starting at $12 for an unpowered site. Kids are $6. Um, and the powered sites start at $16 per adult per night. So it's not a big difference in the price. Um, we obviously have peak times where the prices go up. Um, a few dollars each a night, but yeah. Yep. And how do you book? How's um, the best way to book? I book mine to, online. Best way to book's online. Yeah. Um, we can be difficult to catch in the office, obviously. Um, I can be hard to catch in the office. If you leave me a message, I'll always call you back or send me an email. And I often book people through emails, but obviously online is the quickest and the fastest way to get a booking. So just go through that, hey? Yeah. And you pay online? Yeah, pay online. Yep. 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 Excellent. Um, so you can choose just to pay a deposit now online. Before we had to pay the full price, but we've fixed that up in the last couple of months. You can okay. just pay a deposit like anyone else. Yep. Yeah. So where are, we, where are we heading to now? What part of the park uh, is this one? This is our luxury glamping area. So we've got six luxury glamping tents that sit up on top of the ridge with amazing views down along the creek. Oh, awesome. Um, so five of those are all the same and the sixth one we had refitted for people with mobility issues. So you can come and glamp if you're in a wheelchair or on a walker frame or just have sore knees. Yeah. Um, so the difference between the six one and the other five is that the six one has lost its bathtub. So all the others have these amazing four foot bathtubs, but that one's lost the bathtub. Okay. Yep. So, um... And this one's called the retreat. I just saw there. The retreat. Yes, it's all got very relaxing names like haven and sanctuary and tranquility. Nice. You see, there's a bit of a barbecue there. Yes, yeah, so they've got little camping barbecues. Um, on the deck we have a day bed and a little chair and table set up. So our luxury glamping tents are only for adults. We don't have any current cabins for anyone with children. Yep. Um, so they're promoted as couples retreats or, you know, way to get away with the girlfriends or the mates for a weekend. Yep. Yeah, so... And I'll just... And you get a pretty good view out here of the water, so... Pretty good view, and there's a fireplace just out the front of each tent. Oh, so yep, nice. Your own yep. private fire. Glass of wine, watch the stars. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Nice. Got a heater. Now, I see that, um, are they powered? They, so they're powered, or...? Mm, yeah, so they've got full power. Down the back, there's a full ensuite. Oh wow. And I see there's a little fridge. Yeah, there are. Pop your beers in. I always say they're oh, a hotel room on, yeah. in the bush. This is great. I might have to bring the missus down here. <laughs> Look at that. Towels. Oh, awesome. The bathroom. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that they? awesome? Wow. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so like I was saying, the, uh, the accessible tent that we've um, created doesn't have that bathtub, just yeah. a wheelchair can turn around in that space. So it has a shower, and just a yeah, shower? So yeah, it has a shower yeah. and everything else is more or less the same, just of course that feature. So what's the cost for one of these ones for a night? So these ones are two forty nine for a night, yep. but um, you get big discounts if you come for multiple nights. So two yep. nights is three forty, and three nights is four eighty. Okay, awesome. Oh, this is fun. Mm. You've got all the your um, shampoos and all that. So yeah, yeah. Mm. awesome. This is great. So I for one didn't even know that these ones existed, so... Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you're not into full-on camping, you can come and kind of... Glamp, glamp it. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're pretty special. We get, um, you know, the majority, like I'd say 99% of people that stay in the tents just rave about them. They yeah. love them. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's awesome. So, um, no air conditioning? No air 
Yeah. <laughs> you can't have it all, can you? <laughs> it's an aircon on the tent roof. Yeah, yeah. Put fans in and... Oh, well the perfect weather's stuff. coming up, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. They're amazing in winter. They've got um, electric blankets on the beds. And oh, wow. And the heater and the fireplace out the front. And yep, yep. Nice and snug and cosy. Yeah, wow. Nice. Oh, sorry, what was that? There's a giant swing there, that will be hanging between the two trees. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, you can see that. I don't know if you've got to see on camera, but it's there. Yeah. And so where I am, uh, this is called the canyon... This is the canyon top? Yeah. Yeah, so this is our, I guess, our uh, premium sites, if you like to say it that way. These ones often get booked out way in advance. Um, certainly for weekends. So there's only four of those and you can get power or no power there so it's actually the only place in the camp where you can camp with your friends with different power needs. Yep. Yeah and you, obviously you sit on the cliff overlooking the creek or the creek bed depending yep. on the season. And you get nice breezes coming down off that creek too and it's in the afternoons. It's a beautiful spot. It was a beautiful sunset too last night. Oh yeah the sunset's right at the end of the creek. Yeah. Which is amazing. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully I can get back out again, eh? guys that brings our episode to an end thanks for watching i hope you really enjoyed this top this one um, just a short video short getaway just a one-nighter camping down at murphy's creek now um it's not a very well known place but it is it's awesome it's like a gem a hidden gem uh, so if you're from toowoomba literally this is 30 to 40 minutes drive depending on what side of town you're on if you're from brisbane it's obviously a bit longer uh, probably about two hours depending on where you are Awesome little place, awesome getaway. They've got everything here. Whether you need glamping, a powered site for your um, caravan, or just uh, you want to rough it, and uh, camping self-sufficient, they've got everything. They've got toilets, showers, they've got that awesome echo pool. Wow, that was just awesome, that. And uh, a nice little beach, so you call it. Now, 
the water's not going to be here forever. Uh, they did say that it doesn't last long. So if you want to come up here, <coughs> now's the time. Come up and uh, spend a night or two here. Busy on the weekends, quiet during the week. So uh, I'll leave you guys with it. Leave your comments below what you thought about it. And uh, yep, see you on the next one. Thanks again, guys. Yeah, same you, eh? Catch ya. See you later, eh?